Hey guys, you're live with MVI, and I want to bring you another video showing you our new um, CarPlay portal. Um, this is the new premium version for the uh, 2019 and up vehicles. I am working on this for the previous um, version, 16 and up with CarPlay and the retrofits with CarPlay. But for now, this is the perfect for the 19 and up trucks and the new SUVs, the 21, um, Tahoe, Suburban, Yukon, and Escalade. So, complete entertainment portal. Um, does require Wi-Fi for the most part. I'll kind of cover most of that as we go. Wi-Fi is needed because this is a streaming device, but you can get around that in certain, certain um, places. So, <clears throat> let me uh, get going here. So you can see we've got the factory interface. Um, I'm going to have this thing available in two options. So this is the device right here. That's the size of it. Um, this can be a simple plug and play. Insert into your cigarette lighter. And then plug in USB into your um, USB car, CarPlay out, outlet. Um, or I'm also going to offer this in a, uh, a, a hard install so everything will be hidden in the car and you don't see any of this, which is going to be my preferred way of doing it. But um, if you don't want to go through all that, we can sell just this version as a kit and let you plug it in and rock and roll and have fun. So without further ado, um, you'll see the CarPlay icons here. And I'm just going to into the factory USB port this will take just a second to fire up and you can see we've got a whole new portal going on here with some new icons full touchscreen control guys um, YouTube whatnot I am working on being able to move these icons around for right now they are where they're at but um, hopefully we can get it to where you can kind of move these things around in here we've got um, the main thing being the Google Play Store so here you can sign into your account and download any apps you want guys so if you want Prime Video or um, YouTube Netflix they're all right here for you and it's all on-screen control so you just simply log into your Google Play um, account and download the app you want right here onto your device. So, um, just kind of go and show you Netflix again, full on screen. Control. Got audio and all right in here. So, pretty cool stuff. Crystal clear picture, as you can see, real HD stuff, which is awesome. I am, however, connected to Wi Fi. So, I'm going to get out of here. You can see I'm connected to Wi Fi. So if you wanted to do this as a um, without the Wi-Fi, you would have to go in here and download your content into here, and then you could hit the road and um, pull up whatever you've downloaded in here to watch offline. So that's kind of how that's going to work, guys. Um, same way throughout the rest of a lot of this stuff. So if we come here, back into apps. Uh, Pluto TV, so you can use your TV apps, guys, whatever they may be, to watch your um, TV channels. Well, again, this will work in motion, guys. So now let's say, let's go here to YouTube real quick. Again, all Wi-Fi unless you download stuff to it. So this particular one does not have the ability to mirror the phone. We're hoping to add that back in, but that did have some bugs. So we um, took that out and this is all strictly streaming. So you do need obviously Wi-Fi to stream, 
most of the newer trucks well all the newer trucks have the Wi-Fi capability um, you can use that you can also use your um, your your cell phone as your hotspot um, just had a customer do this and go down the road for three hours and said it worked pretty darn good dropped off a couple times um, probably due to low Wi-Fi area so um, you will have to deal with that but pretty darn clear get out of you can kind of see this is basically the YouTube app is what we got here so that's all the video entertainment stuff um, now if you want to do home if you want to play video and load it on a USB flash drive we can go here and I've got some content loaded on a USB stick just two quick videos but these could be movies you load hit the road and go and you've got video without Wi-Fi we can shut that off and not worry about it and this does have a feature which I need to figure out guys a way to store uh, movies locally I don't know how to do this yet I gotta try and figure this out so there's a, a clip on here somehow got loaded onto the hard drive of the device so I've got to figure out that out as well <clears throat> so I'll update you on that as as that comes along so pretty well rounded video module guys um, again you got the USB video you've got um, you can download the content to it and not have Wi-Fi or hook up Wi-Fi and get all your whatever favorite apps you want for your video now let's say you want some different um, mapping <clears throat> you don't like plugging in and using your your cell phone data all the time this does come with a um, built-in mapping we can load ways on here and I've got this hardwired into the uh, factory GPS of the car so you no longer need Wi-Fi so we can shut the Wi-Fi off I'm off and we're still picking up because I'm hooked up to the uh, uh, GPS of the car so we're just gonna go here real quick Uh, it's not going to do it while I'm... Uh, I'm going to have to play around with that a little bit more. There are different apps and whatnot. You can do this without the Wi-Fi. I was, I was working with it a while ago. So you do not have to be connected to the Wi-Fi. I think it's just some settings. i got to go in there and change. Um, but you can also do Waze. Um, and then there's another cool one, um, which we're going to hard load on, which is this one right here. Uh, Syngig also... Uh, works pretty darn good so one other thing to mention guys because I have been getting um, see here we can kind of zoom in to where I'm at um, so this one's working completely offline with no um, Wi-Fi connected so the, the settings are obviously set on this one so it's just a matter of getting them set on that particular app that you're using, guys. Um, one last thing I wanted to mention. Oh, if you're in here, um, I've been getting a lot of calls of people don't like their phone plugged in because then when a phone call comes in, they lose their maps. Um, or you don't want to use your phone's data for the mapping. So if you've got a newer truck without the factory nav, you don't want to add the factory nav and use this. You can still... So to exit out of here, guys, I'm just going to simply hit home. Okay. And I'm going to go up here to audio. And I'm going to tell it I want to go back to FM. And I want to go back to the device. And I want to go back to my map. So I can use this map and still get the audio coming through 
um, as well. I'm going to test the phone thing, but I'm pretty sure we're, we're good to go on that as well. If you just have your phone in your pocket, um, phone, phone call comes in because you're paired to the truck's Bluetooth. You can go ahead and accept it on the truck and still keep this going on, on the screen. So that's pretty cool. And one last thing I'm going to show you guys. Um, there's some more cool features to come I'm going to introduce, which um, I'll give you a sneak peek on that later for you SUV guys. But we'll, we're going to add, be able to add some additional video entertainment into the truck as well, So, which I'm pretty excited about. But you're in here. Let's say you want to go in and use CarPlay now. So this works the way it should. All right. It's asking me, do I want to switch to my iPhone? I'm going to hit continue. And now I'm on CarPlay. So whatever you want to do here, inside of CarPlay. So pretty well-rounded, pretty impressed with this. Happy to bring this to the market. It's going to do really well. I've got a handful available, so messages. Um, if I want to switch back, I'm just going to go ahead and unplug this. I'm going to come back and press this again. It's going to search for the device. And boom, we're back to our whole new entertainment portal, as I'm calling it. I'll probably change that along the way. But anyway, guys, I'm very happy to bring this to you. As usual, message us, text us, call us. The best way to get us these days is on the website, gm-navigation.com. Um, use the web chat feature at the bottom. That is the very best way to reach us um, to get the quickest info. Talk to you soon. Take care. Hey guys, you're here live with MVI again. Um, brought you a video yesterday on the iOS, IoT systems for the 19 and up. Uh, infotainment systems, mainly the trucks and whatnot, is kind of our focus. Let me get some light going on here real quick for you. Um, and today I wanted to show you the um, IOR system, and then I'm hoping to come back later today and give you IOB. Um, so some uh, options for you guys that have the IOR 7-inch or 8-inch system, we can now also give you this same video um, streaming package. And the cool thing about this is it's got the built-in navigation. So we get a lot of requests to add factory nav. Not everybody wants to use CarPlay and Android Auto as their navigation, chewing up their data and whatnot. So this will give you built-in factory mapping. Um, so that's gonna be the big big one for this guy. So simple plug and play or a hardwire kit. Um, and once we plug it into the factory USB port, we'll get a change here on the Apple CarPlay. I am being told we're gonna change that over to Android Auto because we're gonna use a little bit different platform and supposedly come out with a little bit um, different mapping which I'm gonna be pleased to bring to you guys but as soon as this fires off we sh now oh, here we go so it just brought it up you can see this now changed it's lit up green and now I've got a full interface here of, mul of a multitude of video options for you guys right here again seven or eight inch screen this will work so the cool thing about this, though, is obviously you got Google Maps. You could use that. Um, if we go into here, we do have uh, YouTube. Any apps you want to download on here from the Google Play Store. So the key is you sign into your Google Play Store account. You pick the app you want. Somebody mentioned DirecTV last night. I am going to test that here shortly um, and try and download it. I should have done it prior to the video, but... Um, I will afterwards, but I'm pretty sure as long as it's available in the Google Play Store, you can download it here, and then you get it right here on your screen. So, for instance, Pluto TV. Oh. Fire right up, and... Oh, it uninstalled it for some reason. I don't know what it's doing to me here. Let's see here. I didn't want to do that. Sorry about that, guys. 
So let's do, just go to YouTube. And we'll just pick one. I don't have audio hooked up on this particular radio, guys, on the bench. Um, but you would have audio coming through the car on this. That's playing just in that mode. But it does go to full screen. Depends on what the video's um, filmed in, basically. So it's not really a very good video as a showing. But let's do this and go back out. And let's just go to Netflix. And we'll just pick one here. I don't know. So, this piece does require Wi-Fi to stream, obviously. Um, but... A lot of these movies do have the option to download into uh, Netflix app and watch offline. So if it gives you that option, you can actually download it in um, to the app and then pull up all your downloads here. And then without being connected to Wi-Fi, go ahead and select them and go on the, uh, on the Netflix side of things. Same thing with YouTube if you're subscribed to that. This thing also has the ability to play its own um, video via USB. I do need to figure it out. Um, somehow you can load movies onto the device itself. Still trying to get with the manufacturer. They haven't given me the instructions on how to do that. But if we plug the USB in, it'll read it. And now it's picking up USB. And on here, I've just got a couple quick videos that I put on here for demonstration. Full on screen control, full video functionality. This will also not require Wi Fi. So that could be shut off. Now, the Wi Fi can be your truck. All the vehicles are equipped these days, so you can use your data plan that you subscribe to. Um, or you can use your phone hotspot puck whatever just needs wi-fi unless you're doing like usb video or download into um the unit itself uh or or the app itself to to do offline so just so you know there we can go back to home screen again anything you want to put on here you can um prime videos on here i don't have my login to sign into that or i would show you but Pretty cool stuff, guys. Multitude of video functionality. This one does not have the smartphone mirroring, but it's got all the apps you just use anyway. If it had the mirroring, it would still require Wi-Fi, so you're really not gaining anything by mirroring the phone. You can just put the app right on there and go. So uh, the particular mapping that I kind of enjoy is this Syngig. It's very close to the factory mapping anyway. And... Um, it works offline. It does not require Wi-Fi. So we could actually shut this off. And still use it. So pretty cool. Um, I do need to test the theory, but I think you can go ahead and have your phone paired to Bluetooth. That's been the one complaint that I get is using CarPlay and Apple uh, or Android and CarPlay mapping when the call comes in it kills your map don't think that's the case on this one I think you can keep the map on screen take your call over Bluetooth and still have the map going so this is really a, a full uh, full-blown navigation option uh, very economical for you guys we do actually install um, utilize a, a GM antenna that will go under the dash pad and or the OnStar circuit if we can. So you'll have that genuine um, antenna feel there. And full navigation um, on these systems now is an option. So pretty excited to bring this to you. And I think that just about covers it. Um, there's also going to be some uh, mobile video functionality coming soon as well. Um, 
so we can add some stuff to the rear rear seat. So if you wanted to go back to CarPlay and Android Auto, I'll give this a shot real quick. But um, I just screwed up my screen, guys. Sorry about that. This car auto is what you would go to. So if we plug in to use CarPlay like we normally would, plug in. I'm going to go to car auto. It's not recognizing my device just yet. Yeah, it's not recognizing the device, unfortunately, guys. Um, but it will switch back and forth. I uh, have to rewire some stuff on my bench. That's why it's not really doing it here like it's supposed to. Um, but otherwise, you would go here. If you go back and watch my video yesterday, it's going to be the same process as in the iOS and IoT. You go here, select the uh, new phone you want to connect to, and then you'll have full CarPlay and Android Auto running up there. So... That's it. Um, sorry for the couple little hiccups here, but it gives you the general idea of what we've got to offer here on all IOR vehicles. The trucks, this is huge for navigation. And guys, this also covers your car application. So IOR, uh, Malibu, uh, Equinox, Terrain, you know, you, you name it out there. There's probably Buick LaCrosse. I'm not sure all the fitments. Uh, Camaro, I believe, is out there. IOR, IOA, this now gives you some functionality on those applications as well so feel free to reach out messages here or the very best place to reach us these days is gm-navigation.com use the web chat feature down in the very bottom right hand corner we do do a good job of trying to follow up daily each morning so message us there and we can chat back and forth live and get you any more information that you may need thanks so much have a great day